all right what is going on youtube today i wanted to do a little quick video now i do want to hurry up and get through this um pretty much the you guys read the title of the video what is the best or most competitive version of zombies now i got this comment yesterday from jose guerrero but i was thinking about this i was thinking about you know should i make it just a real competitive i'm talking about it doesn't matter how much money you got I'm talking about you. You ain't got no limit on what you're spending. You took a credit card out. You about to get all these damn cards you want. Hypothetically, that's just you. Just you. You about to get every card you ever wanted for a deck. Highest price doesn't matter. What would be the most competitive version? Now, I pretty much came up with two. It really depends on your play style because you can't play a stun variant of zombies, um, like with dimensional barriers and strikes and shit like that. But like I said. The most competitive version, it would have to be down to two. It would have to be this deck and then also Zodiac Zombies. You, you just can't go wrong with, um, you can't go wrong with either. Uh, Zodiac Zombies, I mean, it's clearly with the Zodiac engine, you get free two level fours. Uh, even without that, you still have the Sage. So you can end up, you can end your field with Omega, Invoker, Drantia, uh omega probably with like three in hand and like a couple of traps or maybe even a my body maxi whatever the case may be and then with um with brilliant fusion i mean you can just really spam the board and snow is is the best non-zombie cards you can put in your deck i would say because with non shira new card because it just it triggers your shira news you can activate it on your opponent's turn it banishes it does everything you needed to do. It's a level four. It does everything you really needed to do um, in a zombie deck or anything you need help with. So I would say these two are the most competitive versions that you would probably you probably can build with no expense. When I mean not with no expense, but no limit on whatever you can build. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much what the this little quick video is. I'm still uploading at one o'clock. So Dwayne, your video is still coming. I am playing that at one o'clock. Don't worry about that. But I did want to do a little quick video. And as always, you know, when I do a quick video, you know, I got to play at least one duel with each. So that's what we're going to do. No matter good or bad, we're going to play with both of these decks. And um, yeah, so before we get into the, uh, before we get into these duels, I would like to say like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Also click add to help support the channel. And let's get straight into these videos so I can show you guys the power of both decks. Now, the Brilliant Fusion version is very susceptible to the Zodiac, I would say, because they do have Drantius and stuff like that. So if you don't have, you know, the outs and stuff like that, you can get beat. Now, I'm not saying that these decks are just, look at this fucking hand. This is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. What is this? How am I supposed to have fun with this shit? But you know what? I said that we we're going to play no matter what. We've literally drawn the word saying this is a possibility with every deck but especially with this deck because you're running so many combo cards you can literally brick when you open up your hand so we're playing super hairy samurai so that's good what did it say holy fuck okay never mind okay trick clown that is probably a good card to have but i think i want to go double mizuki um this is not going to be useful uh i don't know what i should go trick clown is pretty good but uh hmm Let's go double Mizuki, I guess. Uh, we can just attack for 34. Hopefully he doesn't have anything that he can stop it with. We're gonna attack with 34 and then go into Minerva because Minerva is, you know, $2,000, $3,000. But you never know, it could get reprinted, any, uh, you know, a, a time soon. But this is a fucking horrid hand. And I, I really kind of did not want to do this, but hey, what was that? What did I mill? Oh, I milled a Chief Priest. You gotta be shitting me. But hey, this is, what can happen with this deck also so don't forget about that you may brick uh not so often that you're going to brick but when you do you do but like i said oh fuck you can't use my cards so i'm not tripping oh i milled the brain fusion but i'm pretty sure he doesn't play those cards so that that that'd be good and then we have a twin twister for it anyways and then he can destroy our spells and traps that's fine with me um he kills this but this is going to trigger and mill three more and that's what i mean if you can get your zombie deck to mill you're, you're just straight already you don't really need too much other stuff but then like milling if you can get a whole shitload of cards in your graveyard as such with minerva look at that and then now we're set now we're just set because now all we need is a, a snow and once we get a snow that this game is pretty much over uh what do you do um 
It's a tuner? Yes, it is a tuner. So you can go to level 8, probably Omega. No, he's not going to Omega. What do you do? Um. Okay, that's a save. We didn't want that. If you have no spawn trap card in your graveyard, you can target one spawn trap card and destroy it. Okay, so we could probably push for game. I'm trying to see how. Yeah, we can push for game. So we could just do this. Get the. Uh, wait, hold on. Time out. Can we? I don't know if we can. What does this say? What? We can. I think we can push. We, we should be able to push. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We should be able to push. I don't care about a Maxi. Maxi's not going to stop me here, fella. What will stop me is that Ghost Sucker card. But he doesn't have it. So, what we can do is, since we already have What's the Name in the Grave, we're going to send this Trick Clown from our hand. Discard so we can get a free Trick Clown. Uh, since we have we do have a Mizuki in the graveyard, we don't need to expend the um, non-attacking because just in case he does have something, we have to go Scarlight, and um, we have to go Scarlight to uh, get rid of this card. So that's why I did want to do this first. Um, but I think uh, if he has Scarlight, it's just over anyways. Is anything protected? No, not, not that I know of. Unless it's something's coming from his hand. What do you do? Oh, can I destroy by battle or card effects? So what we can do is just get this Mizuki back, right? What does it say? Can I be destroyed by battle or card effects? Now, like I said, we can just use this Mizuki. Um, instead of going what's the name because it can't be destroyed, we can just go Castell and Castell it back. And then since we did still did not use uh, Unizombie's second effect, we can just go ahead and get rid of you and attack for game. Because it doesn't look like he plays any GG, sir. GG, Soma. We did have fun. It, it, we, we drew bad, but we know we are playing against Super Heavy Samurai. Not the best example of the deck, but like I said, we were going to just do one. And we're going to try Zodiac now. Alright, so now we're going to try the Zodiac version. And like I said, you, you're always susceptible to a bad hand. But in this deck, you really don't draw too many bad hands. Um, and bam, look at, as you see, this is, a, this is a bad hand, but look at this hand. You have a warning, you have Barry, and you have Sage. And like you can't go wrong with this deck and like there's so many cards you can top that like this this version is probably the most it's probably the most built for competitive i would say the most built for competitive because it does run zodiacs and as you know zodiacs did top uh what 30 out of 32 and that's just that's just sickening <laughs> that is just sickening you see we just drew like we drew terra top and there's like now it's game now it's game. There's nothing he can do. There's nothing he can do. We can literally end our board with double Omega. We can do a whole bunch. You know, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a whole bunch. And we're going to make it to where it's just impossible for him to get out of. So, what we can do is, uh, you know, just do this, you know, regular Zodiac combo. I'm pretty sure if you guys have already seen it, um, you already seen, pretty sure everybody has already seen the Zodiac combo. So we're going to just do that here, since we only play one Viper, then, uh, I mean, we don't get no Bullhorn search, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. We can beat him, technically, can we? We probably can beat him if we just do, like, you know, if we just go all-out attack, we probably can beat him, because that's 28. Um, let me see, what do we play? We play Castell also, right? So Castell would be 2016 that's 36 uh and then what yeah see that's 25 that's 2000 extra just 4000 in 28 that's not game but we could we can't get game we can easily just get a unizombie and then discard a card out of our hand and then that's pretty much it for that but like i said we're going to go into the um we're going to just do uh we're going to just do the the, the zombie stuff that's what I want to do. I want to do zombie stuff. So that's what the fuck we're going to do. We're not going to do Zodiac shit. Because like I said, we can win. We can win if we want to. That that And that's what's so powerful about this goddamn deck. As you see, one Terra Top and your board is your board is just disgusting. And it's just it's just the Zodiac. Zodiacs give you a very good op, you know, a very good uh what's it, a very good uh opening board. It's so good, it's so consistent. It's just ridiculous. You know, I wish it wasn't like this. I wish zombies can have a deck where it's just automatically powerful on their own. But 
as of right now, it's just, I mean, it, it is what it is. So <laughs> we can't, we can't go anything wrong with that. Like I said, we can, we can go, we can go void. You can put double void in the deck. Like I said, it all depends on your play style. You can put double void in your deck. You can put, uh, like I said, right here, you can go clear wing if you wanted to and keep this in your hand. But, you know, since we, we are playing black wings, I think Omega is just, Omega is just, you know, it's, it's too good not to do. And then like next turn you're set because you can, you can literally do whatever you want. We can call whatever you want with Dimensional Barrier. That's a $90 card, dry it into $30. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you just have no expense with your extra deck, then you could, you could do this. Now, like I said, they can summon a Kaiju, but like I said, what are you gonna Kaiju over? Omega or Drancia? Like, there's hard choices for you to do. We have a warning to, um, like I said, we have Drancias. We can pop whatever we want. This would give you, you know, a good a good thing to where well, your opponent has to try to break through the board and beat you. But like I said, it's just I don't know really what else to say about this deck. As you see, this first duel I played with it, and you see what I opened up with. And that, that's that's just all the possibilities of. Uh, of a uh, Zodiac Zombie deck, or anything with Zodiacs, you can pretty much do whatever you want. It's not really too much, too much to say about it. It's just, I mean, here we go. I'm sorry, Swag Man, but you know, you had to be used for a video. So, like I said, if you guys do want to play it competitively and money is not an issue, you can go with Zoo. Um, that probably be your best bet. But if you just want to play pure like zombies and stuff like that, um. Like I said, the probably the best build of that would just be a stun version, um, just with like triple, uh, triple uh, swallow slash stuff like that. But if you're trying to play it competitive, if you're trying to beat the meta, you're trying to play against the meta, then you definitely either you go with the brilliant, you either go with the Minerva build or you can go with the Zodiac build. Either or, you're doing pretty good with the Minerva build. You have a lot, you have a higher chance of bricking, and with the Zodiac build, that's just if you want to play Zodiac and you want to spend what uh, not what is what is that uh what is it i forgot what the, the i forgot what the card the continuous spell i just forgot what it was this whole time hold on let me just go to the deck profile so i can just finish okay so it's called triangle like these are fucking a hundred dollars 90 to 100 dollars so you either spending 270 or you're spending you know 300 these are around the same price 80 bucks um, strikes are, you know what they are. Warning is cheap. Strikes are expensive. Maxi is expensive. Um, Teratops twelve, you know, a piece. Omegas are forty a piece. Crystal Wing is sixty. Um, the two secrets are fucking forty. I mean, thirty a piece. So, like I said, if money's not an issue, I would go with Zoo Zombies. If I could just play any deck, I would. I would probably play this for the meta, just to pretty much, you know, have the best chance against the meta because. That's the best thing you can do. You can probably throw some kaijus in here, put it up to 45. Um, I've actually been testing kaiju zombies. It's, it's pretty fun to just get over our opponent's board and just spam a synchro or something like that. Go into a Shogun Saga. Um, you can fit that in here. This is not like a prototypical build or this is not like the perfect build. This is something I, like I said, with the, also with the Minerva build, I just built probably like two minutes. So like I said, it's not really two. I actually already had a what's the name, but this one I built because I added to my bodies and stuff. But like I said, you know, these aren't very hard to really play. And with this, only thing is really too expensive is the Minerva. Like I said, I already talked about the Omegas and the Crystal Wings, but besides that, everything else is cheap. The main deck is probably, you can probably get for about 40 or 50 bucks. It's not really too hard. Um, I don't know how much solar recharges are going for. I, I know, I'm pretty sure they, they're common too. You can get it. Well, everything in here is pretty much common. Wolf's common, uh, except for Garnet, but you can run any Gym Knight. Um, these are common. These aren't. But like I said, everything in here, the main deck is probably 50, 60, 70 bucks. But then your problem is the extra deck. If you want to spend the $400, $600 on a Minerva to play this deck, um, then, you know, that's up to you. But you can also throw the Zodiac Engine in here. You can't really go wrong with playing the Zodiac Engine and anything. But like I said, it all depends on what your wallet is. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you what, what is your version of the most competitive deck that zombies can do. Uh, you guys can leave me your deck list, and you know we can see. I'll probably do an update video to this and see you know where we can you know figure out something that's the most competitive deck where it's kind of budget friendly but also you know explosive and like 
uh, I guess just powerful so yeah that is it for today thank you guys for watching and like I said I did upload I am going to still upload at one o'clock so definitely look out for that